Hello, Becky Klutz here. I'm the Group Fitness Director at Performance Health and Fitness. We are going to do a Tabata today. So what does that mean? We're working 20 seconds hard, 20 seconds at your speed, and 10 seconds off. We have four different exercises in each group of work. We do those tw twice through. Um, there'll be nine sets. Our last set, uh, we'll have some abs there. So we'll do a cardio, a strength, and an ab, and then a cardio, a strength, and an ab. Cardio, strength, ab, okay? You will need a set of weights, or if you don't have a set of weights, something else that's around your house. Could be a laundry detergent bottle, an oil bottle, a wine bottle, um, a water bottle filled, anything that you have that you could use as weight, cans, um, anything like that, okay? You could also do this whole workout without weights if you prefer. All right, so we're gonna start with a short warm up. Um, if you need more time to get warmed up, please stop the video and go ahead and um, do some more warm up for you. Also, I don't have any music going on here, so get your music going, turn it up, find whatever you like to listen to, and let's start going. All right, so let's just start with a march. Good. Getting those legs warmed up here. Take a deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Now, just start taking it to a jog. If you don't want to jog, you don't want to bounce today at all, you don't have to. There are all kinds of options that you can do. You can keep everything low impact. Um, anything we do, you can take at higher impact as well. All right, so just start lifting those heels towards your butt, doing a little butt kick here. All right, chest is lifted. Nice, easy running arms right by your sides. Again, you could be marching here too. You could just stick with the march. All right, from here, let's start lifting those knees forward. Lifting those knees towards the chest. Good. In four, three, two, and one. Hold. Step touch. Step touch. Good. Step touch. Step touch. Add some arms. In four, three, two, one. Take those hands up. Now, if you're ready for a little bit more, start adding that hamstring curl. Bringing those heels up. If you're ready for yet a little bit more, start adding a little up and down. A little down and up. Just going down as far as works for you. Good, back to that step touch. Arms come down. Reach and pull, warming up those arms too. Pulling those elbows back, squeezing through those shoulder blades there, getting that back warmed up. All right, now just take it to a march. Take those hands out to your side, thumbs up, thumbs down, higher, or lower, whatever works for you. Wherever you can feel that little stretch through the biceps. Good, now take one foot out in front, a little toe tap up and down. Just a little stretch here through the back of the leg. All right, now, if you need to do it, go longer, please go a little bit longer. Take that leg, same leg back, push the heel down, and then tuck the hip under. Okay, one arm, up and over. It's the same arm, same leg. Okay, other side. Again, if you need to hold any of those longer, please do, or please feel free to stop, and then jump back in when you're ready. Get a little toe up, toe down. Okay, you can take that same leg back, push the heel down. Good, tuck the hip under, one arm up and over. 
Okay, so our first set, like I said, we've got a cardio, a strength, and an ab section. So our first one's gonna be cardio. We have four moves, high knees or marching, mountain climbers, um, skaters, and jumping jacks. Any of those, do them on, at your own speed. Do them, uh, your mountain climbers can be done on a surface. If you have a chair or a table that's not moving but stable. Um, or you can do them on the floor, okay? So anything, you can always go higher or lower with your options, all right? Always do what's right for you. And if there's a move that doesn't work for you, please choose something else, okay? Don't do it just because you don't like it, but if it hurts or it doesn't work for you, then choose something else, okay? All right, so let's start. We're just gonna start in about 10 seconds. So this is a little bit of warm up here, and then we're gonna go all out, all right? So we go in three, two, one. Here we go. High knees or marching. Lifting those knees towards the chest. 20 seconds of work. Halfway there. In five, three, two, one. Rest. During your rest time, it's your choice whether you keep moving or whether you just totally stop. All right, now we're going to mountain climbers on your surface or on the floor. Nice, strong, straight back. Here we go. Driving those knees again towards that chest. Now, if you need to, you could come down to your knees and you can tap out. You could also come to a surface to make it a little inclined, okay? In three, two, one, done. All right, our next move is gonna be skaters, side to side. You could do step touch if you don't want to do skaters. Here we go. Now, if you want a little bit more, you make these faster or you make them wider. See how far you can cover going across the room. You can take those arms out long, keep them close, whatever works for you. In three, two, one. Okay, how are we doing? Jumping jacks. All right, jumping jacks are star jumps. So jumping jacks are here or here. Star jumps are here, ready? Let's go. As fast or slow as you wanna go. Or here. Or here. Three, two, one, hold. Okay, we get to do that all again. High knees mountain climbers, skaters, jumping jacks. Ready? Back to high knees. Here we go. Okay, keep those knees up. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one. Okay, mountain climbers are next. Up to you on your surface. You can always stand, do mountain climbers up here as well. Here we go, hands down under the shoulders. We drive the knees right into the chest. You can also do these on your knees, if you would rather, and just do a little toe tap out. You pick. Good, in three, two, one, done. Skaters are next. Side to side. Three, two, here we go. You can do step touch. Take it down. Now pushing from the outside leg, trying to move across the floor. Make sure, depending on what surface you're on, that you're picking those feet up. In three, two, one. Okay, last one to finish up our cardio. We've got skaters, or I'm sorry, jumping jacks, or star jumps. You got it. Lots of levels. You choose. Three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, 
we're going into a strength next. Okay, so you, we're doing squats, bicep curls, tricep dips, extensions, or overhead. So you have a choice there. And then side raises. So you'll need some kind of weight if you're using weight today. Otherwise, you can just use body weight. All right, so squats. We'll take our feet out wide or narrow, up to you, um, with or without weight. That's gonna be what we start with. Grab weight if you want it. You can drop it here. You can bring it up here, whoever works for you. Okay, here we go. 20 seconds of work. Now, you wanna push those hips back, okay? Sit back in those heels. Just going down as far that works for you. Done. All right, next one, bicep curls. Single or double arms. If you wanna do one single arm this time, one single arm the next time. If you wanna alternate, you can do that or the same. Do both, okay? So feet are slightly under our hips here. Slight bend in those knees. Elbows are under your shoulders. Make sure you're not swinging your arms back and forth. Keep it controlled. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, tricep dips. Tricep dip extensions, which are gonna be here, or overheads, you choose. Tricep dips is what I'm gonna choose. So you can do these on your floor. You can find a surface, inclined. Good. Keep those elbows pulled in. In three, two, one. Okay, the next time I'll show you something different in case you wanna pick something different and aren't sure what it is. Okay, side raises, grab your weights if you have them. Side raises, we're looking for that 90 degree angle. Stopping shoulder height. You could do one arm at a time here. You could go out wider, but you don't wanna go higher, okay? Done. All right, we get to try that all over again. Squats with weight if you want it. You could, if you went wide last time, you wanna try and go in like a chair squat, narrow, you could do that. Good. Keep that chest lifted, weight back in the heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Knees are tracking out over those toes. In three, two, and one, good. All right, bicep curls. You could also do hammer curls here. We might have those later too, but if you wanted to do hammer curls, they're right here. All right, here we go. One arm or two, up to you. Good, keep it coming. Halfway, making sure, keeping those arms under control, turning those weights halfway up and halfway down. Three, two, one. All right, now, dips, extensions, or overheads. Last time I did dips. This time I'll show you extensions just in case that's something different you wanna do. So you wanna pull those elbows up and then you're going right here. Get started. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Next one is side raises. Feet under the hips. Looking for that 90 degree angle. One arm or two. Again, keep it coming. 10 seconds. Halfway. You want one arm three two and one okay we are done with our strength we are moving on to abs so if you have a mat or a towel or just your floor any of it is just fine all right so we are moving on to our cardio i'm sorry abs so plank jacks is first so plank jacks hands are under your shoulders you can go here 
you could tap it out or you could just hold all right then bird dogs you're going to come right down to your knees knees are under those hips nice flat back opposite arm opposite leg okay um, then we'll flip it over into a bridge on our back and then we do bicycles on our back as well all right so we start with those plank jacks we've got about 10 seconds here and then we'll get started with those so plank jacks bird dogs bridges and bicycles okay all right hands under those shoulders nice flat back brace through that belly keeping those hips square to the ground eyes slightly out in front of you you can take it to a tap you can take it down on your knees up to you three two one okay ten seconds then we go to bird dogs if you wanted a more advanced option you could bring it up to a quadruped so bird dogs here so nice and controlled nice flat back brace that belly so that means to pull that belly button towards the spine okay keeping a nice flat back three two one all right now we flip over into a bridge hands at your sides feet heels right by your butt and we're lifting up and down if you want a little bit more you can lift one leg this time and one leg the next time squeeze the glutes as you lift and done okay next one last one for this is bicycles hands come to your temples knees are stacked over those hips then we're going side to side opposite elbow opposite knee so actually we're trying to bring that shoulder up to try and touch that opposite elbow okay we want to keep our shoulders or our elbows back Got chin tucked in. If this is too much, you can bring those feet down. And done. All right, we flip back over into the plank jacks. Ready, set, and go. If you need a little bit less, you come down here. Or you just hold here. Squeeze those glutes. Three two one okay next one bird dogs on your knees hands under those shoulders good position opposite elbow or opposite arm opposite leg brace that belly nice flat back Good, and done. Okay, flip it over into bridge. Now remember, if you did one leg last time, you can choose to do the other leg this time. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes. In three, two, one nice work all right bicycles we're staying right where we are knees are under the hips hands at our temples extending those legs long remember you can go here slow it down three two one all right we made it okay that's round one okay so we did a cardio a strength and an ab we go back to cardio back to cardio grab a drink if you need it you have about 25 seconds grab a drink we're going into our cardio this time we have jump ropes here fast feet in and out 
um, three knees and four skaters. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we skate for four, three, two, one. And then we do toe taps forward. If you have a stair or something and you want to do those toe taps there, you can. All right, jump rope here. This is where you can show off your fancy moves. Now, you can just do it out front. You can do single leg back and forth, double leg. If you want, you can even just tap it out to your side. Whatever works for you. Done. Okay, fast feet are next. We're going in and out. You don't have to do high level. You can keep it low and still get a good workout. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Can you go even faster? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you want to slow it down. You can go a little bit deeper if you're slowing it down here. Three, two, one. Okay. Three knees, four skaters. Ready, set. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we skate four, three, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Now try and hitch that knee on the third one. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Toe taps. If you have a surface or a stair close by, you could do them here. Otherwise, you can just do them right, right out in front of you right here. Can you go faster? Or slower. And done. All right, one more set of those. Jump rope, fast feet, three knee skaters, and toe taps. Ready? Go. Show off those moves. Do some double unders. It's the best because no jump rope ever gets stuck on your feet. Three, two, one. Okay, next one, fast feet. Fast feet. Ready, set. Move to your speed. Maybe it's fast. Maybe it's slow and low. I don't know. You can throw some arms in there if you want. Okay, hold. Three knees and skaters. Ready, Mark? Get set. One, two, three. One, two, three. We skate four, three, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Okay, toe taps are last. Then we're moving on to strength. Toe taps are last. Let's do it. Stays lifted. If you want to, you can lift up higher. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. We're going into lunges, hammer curls. You have about 35 seconds here. So lunges, hammer curls. Another set of tricep extensions or dips or overhead extensions and then upright rows, okay? So lunges, step back, down. You can make it one move or you can slow it down. You could do one leg the first time, one leg the second time. Wait if you want it. Um, then we'll go into hammer curls, which will be holding our weight here. Tricep extensions, holding our weight here and then upright rows going right here. Okay, here we go for lunges. Your choice, taking a nice long step back, dropping that back knee. Now, you can go faster. You could even do jumping lunges. Maybe you wanna take the weights away though if you're doing jumping lunges. 
okay? And hold. All right, next one, hammer curls. With your hammer curls, you're just coming straight up and down, okay? Ready, set, hit it. Chest lifted, shoulders back and down. Controlled with those arms so they're not swinging. All right, nice and controlled. Good, soft knees. Hold. Okay, next one, tricep extensions. Here, you're going to pull those elbows up into a row. Then you just kick back. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Ooh. Now, if you don't want to do these, you could go back to those dips or you could do overheads. If you're doing an overhead, it's going to look like this. Okay, all right, done. Okay, upright rows, upright rows. Feet under those hips, then our elbows are coming out wide. Let's do it. Stopping about chest height, keeping the weight nice and close to the body. Chest stays lifted, elbows out wide. In three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, we have another round of those. So back to those lunges. If you did one leg, you're gonna to wanna to choose the other leg. If you're alternating, then keep with that. Okay, here we go. Nice long step back. You can divide it. Take it down, back, up. Up to you. Jumping lunges. Trying to keep those hips square to the front. Okay, hold. All right, hammer curls, feet under the hips, soft knees, elbows under the shoulders, and we move. You could do one arm at a time. You know your options. You do you, okay? Good, hold here tricep extensions. Now, if you did one arm, you're gonna to pick to do the other arm this time. Slight tip of the hips, slight bend in those knees, pull those elbows up, and then we take it back. Eyes out in front of us, chest lifted. Now, you wanna work through the back of the arm here, okay? So keep it steady, all right, as we go. And done. All right, last one, upright row. Then we've made it through strength number two. Here we go. Elbows out wide. You could do one arm here at a time. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, we're going back to abs then. So for our abs, oh, sweaty, are you sweaty out there? How are we doing, are we doing okay? Yeah? Okay, take a break if you need it, pause the workout if you need it, you can always jump back in. Okay, on to abs, crunches on the ground. So on our back, crunches. If you don't wanna lay on the ground, you could always um, kind of do them sitting in a chair. Uh, we're gonna do side crunch. So crunch in the middle, side plank on right, side plank on left, and then our dead bugs. For our dead bugs, we're gonna be on our back. So our knees are gonna go over our hips, hands above your shoulders, opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, it's kind of like our bird dogs, except on our back. All right, we start with a crunch, then we go to our side planks. You have about five seconds. If you want to wait here, you could grab a weight. Otherwise, feet on the floor. You can lift those heels, chin tucked in, look in between those knees. Okay, we've got 20 seconds here. Chin tucked in, looking between those knees. Good. 
three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to our planks, side planks. All right, elbow under our shoulder, arm up, lifting up in three, two, one. Okay, now you wanna lift those hips, working through those obliques. If you can do these down on one knee, you can do them on two knees, um, whatever works for you. If you wanna add a little bit more, you could add some hip dips in. Okay, three, two, and one. All right, other side. Side plank, other side. Elbow in that show, under the shoulder, here we go. Good, keep coming here. Three, two, and one. Okay, dead bugs. So we're going to our back. Knees are over our hips. Hands are up above our shoulders. Opposite elbow, or opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's do this. Nice and controlled, bracing through that belly. Nice neutral back, pushing that back down towards your mat or your whatever surface you're on here. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're moving on back to the crunch. Wait if you want it. Let's go. Chin tucked in, like you've got an orange and you're trying to hold it there. Looking between those knees, lift and lower. Trying to get those shoulder blades up off the ground. Okay, hold here. Okay, back to that plank. Elbow under your shoulder. Ready? Lift up. Okay, in three, two, and one. All right, other side. You got it. All right, other side. Ready to lift. Knees or toes. Good. Ten seconds up. We got this. Lift those hips. If you want to do a little hip dip, you can. In three, two, and one. Okay, hold here to your back. Dead bugs. Knees are over those toes. Our knees are over the hips. Hands above your shoulders, and we go. Bracing through that belly. Nice, strong core. You can slow these down if you need to. Good, hold here. Okay, we have one more cardio, one more strength, and one more ab section left. All right, so we're done with two rounds, and we have one more to go. Grab a drink if you need it. Um, I'll give you about 25 seconds here. We're going into our fighting knee, which is gonna be here or here. We'll do one side and then the other side. Then we're going to butt kicks, so we're lifting our heels. And then we're going to your favorite cardio, whatever that may be. Could be skaters, could be burpees. We haven't done burpees. Could be burpees, standing burpee, here, down, up, okay? It could be um, mountain climbers. It could be anything we've done or not done, whatever your favorite cardio may or may not be. Um, you can choose that. So we're gonna go in about, I gave you an extra few seconds. Okay, so I'll give you an extra 10 here. Last round. All right, we start with that fighting knee or just a knee repeater. So you can start here, you can jump it. You can go here just running arms halfway 
stepping in nice long step back. You can reach here, fingertips to toenails. Three, two, one. We go to the other side then. All right, in five, four, three, two, hit it. Yeah, keep it low if you want it. Stretch back nice and long. Five, four, three, two. Okay, all right, one set of those done. Now we go to butt kicks. So make sure you're kicking your own butt. All right, bringing those heels up. Here it comes. Twenty seconds now. If you'd rather just march, just turn it into a march. That's okay. Do what's right for you. Or if you want to do butt kicks, but a little slower, you can do it that way. All right. Hold. Okay. Now your favorite cardio, whatever that may be. I'm gonna choose. Um, I'm gonna choose skaters for my first one. Let's do it. You don't have to do what I'm doing though. You choose what you want. Just make sure whatever you choose, you have good form. Three, two, one. Good. Hold. All right. We go back through that one more time. Fighting knee. Ready? Push. You got it. Keep it low. Take it high. Three, two, one. Other side. Ready, set, go. Jump it or don't jump it, up to you. Three, two, one. Woo. Okay, butt kicks. You guys, this is our last, last cardio. We got this. Butt kicks, 20 seconds, and then 20 seconds of your favorite. Come on. You got it. Lifting those heels, or march it. If you don't wanna to jump today, you don't have to. Done. Okay, your favorite cardio, whatever that might be. I think for this one I might choose high knees. I don't know if these are my favorite, but all right, let's go. You choose what you want to do. Ten seconds, then we're done with cardio today. In three, two, and one. You got it. Okay, we're going into strength. For our strength, we have deadlift. So you're coming down. Let me grab my weights. You're coming down and up. Okay, down and up. Dead row, knees, pockets, knees, up. Knees, pockets, knees, up. Curtsy lunges. You're taking a step back, tapping it out. Take a step back. We're trying to find a little balance. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to. We'll do one leg and then the other. Um, and then we repeat. Okay, so deadlift, dead row, and then curtsy lunge. So get set. If you've got weights, grab your weights. Shoulders are back and down. Chest is lifted. Here we go. Deadlift. Down to our knees. Slightly above or slightly below. You don't have to go all the way down to those shins. Okay, you don't have to go down here. All right. Just a slight tip of the hips, slight bend in those knees. Chest stays lifted. Eyes out in front of your feet. Good. Hold here. Dead rows are going to be down to your knees. Pull it into your pockets. Back down and up. Okay, ready? Set. 
Let's do it. Okay. Knees, pockets, knees, up. Knees, pockets, knees, up. Knees, pockets, knees. You got it. You can slow these down. You don't have to go my speed. Hold. Curtsy lunge, with or without weight. You can put your weight down here, or you could do it with one weight. You could hold it at your chest if you just want one weight. So you're just taking a nice long step back. And then tap to the side, or a little lift, working on balance. Whatever you want to do. Okay, keep it coming. Try to keep those hips square, chest lifted, hold. One more side. And then we get to do that all again. Keep it coming here, keep it coming. Last three, two, and one. All right, back to that deadlift. One more set of these, you guys. One more set. Okay, chest lifted. Slight bend in those knees. Slight dip at the hips here. Chest lifted. Eyes out in front of us a few feet. Keeping that head and neck aligned. Yeah, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, we move on to dead row. Dead row. Ready, set, knees, pockets, knees, pockets. So pull those elbows back, <clears throat> squeeze through those shoulder blades as you pull them back. Five seconds. Good, done. Okay, curtsy lunges, last set of them, last set. Feet start under the hips, and then we go. Yeah. Tap it back, good. Nice long step back. You can just tap it out to the side. If you don't want to, lift the leg. Okay, hold. Other side, this is it. Last part of strength, you guys. You got this. Ready, go. Yeah, how are we feeling? Woo, we got, we're almost done. We just have a set of abs left. Done, okay. Grab your towel or your, yeah, your towel or your mat or whatever you have, just a surface. And then we're coming down. We've got penguins on our back. Then we have pike reaches, reverse crunches, and a, and, um, a full sit up or a regular crunch, either one. All right. So penguins are going to be here. So you're trying to touch those fingertips to the toes. Pike reaches, you can grab a weight and hold if you want, or you can just try and touch those toes up if that doesn't work you can even just bring those knees right over the um, hips okay here we go penguins to start then I'll show you the other two as we get there so trying to reach those fingertips out to those toes Good. working through those obliques here three two one pike reaches you can grab a weight if you want but you don't have to. Feet can go here or feet can go here and we're just lifting up. Ready? All right, you got this. Can you lift a little bit higher? Tuck that chin and done. All right, next, reverse crunches. Hands at your sides. 
you're going to try and lift those hips, all right? Hands are just there to help stabilize you. It's really your lower abs that are doing the job. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we go into a full sit up. So your feet can come out a little bit further if you want. Trying to use the belly to come up. Slowly, if you want to challenge, you can slow it down on the way down. So come up and then slowly roll down. Okay, hold it here. Now, we only have one round left, so four exercises. That's it. Penguins to start. Are we ready to get this done? Yes. Let's go. Okay, keep it going, trying to get those fingertips to the toes. Okay, done. All right, pike reaches. Wait if you want it. Feet are lifted up, and then we go. You got this, you got this. Yeah, and hold, okay. Reverse crunches, hands at our sides. We're lifting that lower body, using those lower abs to do the work. Last five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, last one. Full sit up. If you don't want to do a full sit up, it's just going to be a crunch. So you can just crunch up and down if you want. Okay. Three, two, one. Reach up. Slowly come down. Up. And slow down. Can you get one last one in? And hold. Nice job. Yes, we did it, you guys. Awesome work today. Okay, take those arms out long. We'll do a quick cool down. So take those legs to one side. You can take that top knee in. Stretching through that glute. That roll to your back, ankle to knee. Push away. Figure four here. And then you can reach through if you want. You can do a little ankle roll here. Good. Okay. Now, uh, take that same leg up. You can ankle roll again. It'll be the opposite foot that we're ankle rolling. All right, hold any of these if you need to hold them longer. Take those legs to the other side. Let those arms out wide. Bring that knee in. You did a great job today. Ankle to knee, push away. Always working just to the best of your ability. Doesn't have to be to anyone else's ability, but just to yours. Always working and just trying to improve what's good for you, what's right for you. Again, you can roll the ankles here. All right, and then take that foot up. Can roll the other ankle again. When you're ready, 
We'll roll it on up, feet out in front of us, stretching those arms out high, trying to reach those fingertips to the toes. If you can, I can't do it. It's okay if you can't. All right, stretching through the back of the legs. When you're ready, um, we'll go ahead and stand up. So just be careful when you're standing up, depending on what surface you're on, make sure you've got your balance before you're coming all the way up. Nice and easy. Good. Roll those shoulders out. Take those arms out wide. Yes. One arm comes across. We got this. Take it back, tricep stretch. Again, if you need to hold anything longer, stretch longer, please do um, when we're done. Good, take it back. Good. Roll the shoulders. Okay, reach behind. And we are done. Nice job. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, my name is Becky Klutz. You can reach me at bklutz at perfair.com. Um, if you have any questions, though, please reach out. Have a great day.